have a cute and easy DIY idea to serving a fruit salad at your next party. It's fun for all ages, so keep watching to learn how to make a watermelon shark. On Just Add Sugar, we're bringing you some of our favorite sugary recipes that are sure to tempt and delight any sweet tooth. I am all about presentation when it comes to serving food and hosting parties, and I love this recipe because it takes virtually no other ingredients or props. All you need is a watermelon, fruit, some candies, and maybe a couple toothpicks. So we're gonna start by putting our watermelon on the flat side. So this ugly side, we're actually gonna put that down so we have a nice surface. And we're gonna start by cutting the watermelon at an angle so that we can prop it up. So I'm gonna start here, and once you get through the rind, the watermelon is really easy to cut. But just start out really careful. We're gonna save this for later and use it for the fin. So that's the base of our shark. So now we're gonna create the opening of the mouth. And using the back of my paring knife, I'm just gonna kinda score where I want the mouth to be. So you're just gonna kinda do like this half moon shape across the top. This is great because you're actually guiding where your incision's gonna be without cutting the watermelon right away. All right. Then you're just gonna carefully pop out this piece. And eat this as a snack if you want, but we're gonna put it aside for later. All right, so now we have the mouth of the shark. Score it first, and then what I'm going to do is really get in there and kind of just take off this green and peel it back. So we have the top, now we're gonna do the bottom. So we have the mouth of the shark, but before we make those jagged, sharp teeth, we're actually gonna hollow out the entire watermelon, take out all that flesh, and the easiest way to do this is use a melon baller or a scoop. So I'm just gonna get the last bit of the red that's showing through right along the mouth. There we go, and you wanna save all of this because we're gonna put it back into the shark later. Now we're going to cut out the teeth of the shark. I like to start right in the middle, and just have one big, sharp tooth. Cut out a triangle, another triangle, and then that little piece, you'll remove it. My favorite part is cutting out the teeth of the shark. It just gives the shark a little personality. And you know, this watermelon shark isn't just great for kids' parties, it's awesome for adult parties too, like during Shark Week, or Sharknado 2, or any other man-eating shark movie-watching party, like Jaws. All right, now we're gonna do the bottom. Here's our shark's mouth. Now we're gonna take that piece of the rind from the mouth and create the fin. I'm just gonna cut this in half, keep it rounded so that I can attach it right here. Remove the pink. There we go. I'm just gonna use a couple toothpicks to attach it to the piece of watermelon. Just like that, and for the finishing touch, we're going to add the eyes. So all we wanna do is following the same technique from the mouth, we wanna try to remove a little bit of the green. And you know, if it helps you, you can just use a little toothpick, figure out where you want your eyeballs to be. So I'm using my paring knife just to remove the green part and leaving the white. There's our shark. Okay, so before we fill our watermelon shark with our fruit salad, put him on top of a platter. It's a lot easier to transfer it when you do that. You can fill your watermelon shark with anything you want, your favorite fruit salad. I'm gonna use the leftover watermelon that I had and add some seasonal fruits. I have blueberries, raspberries, grapes, and Rainier cherries that I pitted, of course. This is so colorful. And then we're just gonna fill up our watermelon. Take a look at this watermelon shark. So the next time you get invited to a barbecue or a party, you wanna bring a fruit salad, put it in a watermelon shark. Your friends are going to love it. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Brandy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food, and I'll see you next time, bye.